Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Black Tab. We're gonna have some craft burgers, some crazy shakes, but today the main goal is to plan out your vacation trip. If you are interested in eating at some of the places over here at Downtown Disney, this is a great option and it's called Black Tab. It just arrived not too long ago. Let's see what they got to offer. I'm gonna go over the whole menu. We're gonna get some food items and we're gonna definitely get a crazy shake. If you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at the Cali Bay. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Over here at Black Tap, it's located over here at Downtown Disney and they got a lot of craft burgers and they got some thing called Crazy Shake which they've actually trademarked the word Crazy Shake and I'll show you guys what that's all about in a little bit once we get the food. The main goal today over here at Black Tap is to help everybody out in regards to their vacation because it's kind of hard dining sometimes over here at Disneyland because we don't know what to expect especially this restaurant that just arrived not too long ago over here at Downtown Disney. So we're going to go over the menu, we're going to go over some of the shakes that they got and we're actually going to try the food out and make sure that it's good. We've heard a lot of raving reviews that it's awesome so we're going to find out. But the whole goal is to help you plan out your vacation and make it a five fire vacation. The really cool part about Black Tap, it is a sit down restaurant so you could sit down and relax but they do have shakes to go and it's located over here on the back end. They do sell the crazy shakes and then the classic shakes. I'll go over the menu and this is the to go quick order area that's located on the back side of Black Tab. So the items that they got over here at the back side, which is the quick order, they have some of the crazy shakes on the left side. They do have them for 15 bucks. It's the strawberry shortcake, the cookie shake, Brooklyn blackout, bam bam shake, which has fruity pebbles. Cookies and Cream Supreme. I don't know, that one's the one that's calling my name. And then they also have the classic versions of Black Tap, which is the chocolate, coffee, vanilla, Oreos, cookies and cream, just like the more normal ones. These are the crazy ones. We're all about the crazy shakes. The ones that come with like tons of toppings on top. We're gonna find out if we could get an annual pass holder discount on these items if you are a pass holder to Disneyland. Hopefully we can get a discount on these items because they're a little bit pricey, but I'll show you why they're a little bit pricey, especially the crazy shakes. Finally walked inside over here to Black Tap, Anaheim, and these are the items that they got. So they have some snacks, some wings, some side, if you want a salad, and these are all the craft burgers. I heard a lot of good things about the pizza burger and then the Mexico City. The Greg Norman, what is that about? Greg Norman's a golfer. They also have a chicken sandwich if you do. Oh, they got the crispy chicken sandwich. And then if you are interested, they have some of the beers. If you are interested, they got some Kraft Tap burger salads. Where they actually, it's like a burger in a salad, literally. And then the fries and rings. I think we are gonna get some french fries today with some onion rings, possibly. And then they also have for the kids, the kids is actually pretty reasonable. They have them at $10, $9, $8. I heard really good things about the crispy chicken tenders for the kids. And then they do sell the sodas here with the refill. A bottle of water for seven bucks. Oh my God, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We are still not over the fact that a water is seven bucks. Like these are all canned beers that you could actually get. Michelob Ultra, Modelo Specials, Angry Orchard. They're all in that seven buck range. And then this, <laughs> the special water from Topo Chico Sparkling Water, seven bucks, what is in the water? I kinda wanna get one now. We finally got a visual on the water, there it is. The seven dollar smart water. <laughs> oh my God, we are not getting a smart water. We are gonna stick to the burgers, the fries, the rings, and I think a chicken sandwich. We might get a chicken sandwich as well. This is a good look at all the items that they have over here at Black Tap. And they use so many different variations of candies, it's crazy. They even got Pop-Tarts, what? And then this is the area where all the ingredients are. You got the cookies, pretzels, Reese's Pieces. And some of the shakes actually come with that on top, a piece of cake on top, literally. You got some brownies. Oh my goodness. So far we got ice cream sandwich and then we got a sugar daddy, pretzels, M&M's, Reese's Pieces. 
What is going on? Damn! Oh my gosh! For Black Tap, they do serve hard alcohol as well. It's not just beer. And this is a good selection of all the items they got to serve here. All right, we finally sat down and we are actually in front of the window. So we got a perfect view of downtown Disney. But also, we have a bunch of people judging us. Don't judge me for what we're about to eat. It's so good, or at least we hope it's good. We'll see, we'll see. Feast your eyes on the pizza burger. Wow. So it looks like we got some mozzarella sticks with the burger. And then we got four onion rings with marinara sauce. Wow. This does look delicious. I am a big guy, so I don't know about the portion size. We'll find out if this actually fills me up. But what we're gonna do, me and my friend, we're gonna split this one with the chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna get a chance to try out the pizza burger, and we're actually gonna try out, try out the chicken sandwich that is the offering here. Here we got the chicken sandwich, which I think is gonna be the winner of these two, in my opinion. The portion size on this one is way better. Look at the amount of french fries. And for the onion rings, I actually paid two more bucks to get four onion rings. But we'll see if they were worth it or if they were not worth it. We'll find out. That's the whole purpose of this video. So when you guys are planning out your vacations and you're thinking about coming over here to Black Tap, this is a really good view at the two items that they got to offer. So we're gonna split up the pizza burger and then we're gonna split up the chicken sandwich, try them both and give our final reviews. So a pro tip, if you are with two people, just give each other half of your sandwich. Why not? So you can try out more of the foods. And we shared some of the fries, some of the onion rings. The chicken sandwich actually comes with some spicy Korean barbecue sauce. We're gonna find out if it's good. We're also gonna find out if that's good. Feast your eyes on this churro crazy shake. My goodness, what the heck? With churros on the back end. Look, the spoon, it's lost in there. Do not bite the spoon. Do not bite the spoon. With the Choco Taco, what is going on here? One thing we realized right away, we should have ordered this after all the food. Because now we have to eat all the food and the crazy shake at the same time before it melts. But my goodness, wow. Here's a better look at the pizza burger. We got the mozzarella sticks. Now let me see if I can pick it up. This is what the burger looks like. Damn. So what we do is we dip it and then eat it. I'm still shocked at this monster shake over here with churros in it. Oh my gosh. But let's see if the burger's good. Finally got done eating the half of the pizza burger. The first thing we noticed right away on the first bite is it was dry, surprisingly dry. And we actually got it medium, as that's how all the burgers come over here at Black Tap Anaheim. I love the marinara. I feel like the marinara needs like a little spice, a little kick to it, it's what it's missing. It was good. I don't wanna say it wasn't good at all, but it was good. The mozzarella sticks or the mozzarella cheese, it needs to be a little more cheesy. I, I felt like it didn't have enough cheese and the bun and the but the burger though itself was good i will say it was good the meat and the burger was delicious adding the marinara i feel like it did help the burger but it didn't make the burger five fires if i had to rate this burger the pizza burger on a scale of one to five five being the best we're gonna give it three fires and i would only recommend if you are in the mood for some pizza and a burger pizza burger <laughs> Uh-oh, casualty, casualty, it's falling apart, it's falling apart. So biggest tip of all now, order your food, eat your food first, then get the crazy shake. We learned that the hard way. <laughs> we'll get to that soon, we'll get to that soon, I promise, I promise. Next up, we have the chicken sandwich with the, uh, is it spicy sauce? Spicy Korean sauce? Okay, let's try it out, see if it's good. Here's a better look at the spicy chicken sandwich. Comes with some, looks like coleslaw on the top. I could have added the lettuce and the tomato, but I just wanted to keep it simple. And this sauce right here gives it a kick. I've only taken one bite so far. Let me tell you, this sandwich 
portion wise is the best like it just it's it's almost twice the size of the burger this sandwich is spicy in all the right ways i really like the kick from the sauce as well it's a perfect compliment the bun is delicious the breading is great if i had to rate the chicken sandwich on a scale of one to five one being the worst five being the best i'm gonna give it five fires and i definitely recommend the spicy chicken sandwich that is by far the winner of the burger and the chicken sandwich for sure I know a lot of us are always looking for spicy stuff over here at Disneyland because they don't bring the spice. But let me tell you, this spicy Korean barbecue sauce is delicious and it has a really good kick. And the sandwich itself has a good kick as well. So if you are looking for a spicy food, definitely come out here to Black Tap Anaheim and get that spicy chicken sandwich with the sauce. Oh man. We finally got to this churro shake. I'm definitely going to get a couple cavities after eating this, but it's going to be so worth it. I heard a lot of good things about it. I know it's not as pretty, I know it's not as, pretty as it was earlier, but we should have ordered the food first, then got the shake. But we learned that now by experience. After this delicious shake, I could see why you need a $7 water. Wash it all down. I honestly, personally, I love the shake. I love the craziness. We knew what we were getting. The word says crazy shake. And we definitely got a crazy shake out of it. Show you guys what it looks like from a top view. That is the aftermath though. <laughs> it's got everywhere. So I had to clean it up a little bit. Overall, our final review of Black Tap is we highly recommend it. It's definitely an adventure coming out here and trying the Crazy Shake, trying out all the foods. I hope we could help trying out those two burgers that we got. The chicken sandwich, without a doubt, was the highlight of this whole adventure. It was delicious, it was spicy. I would definitely get it again. Can't wait to come back to Black Tap and try some of the beers, try some of the other burgers that they got, and just try maybe out the $7 wada. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just want to thank you guys. I hope I could help plan out your vacation over here at Disneyland Resort. Don't forget, Black Tap is located over here at Downtown Disney, right in front of Uva Bar. If you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at the Cali Bay. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it down, fire it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mon. Don't. Ah.